please join me in welcoming Duff Goldman. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> How are you guys? Wow. So uh, I wanted to play hockey for Michigan. That didn't work out. And then uh, I'm in a band. Uh, we still haven't played in Michigan yet, so that hasn't worked out. So I had to write a book to get to Michigan. How about that? This is crazy. It's pretty amazing, I tell you, man. If somebody told me when I was like 15 years old and I was on my third offense for destruction of public property because I was a graffiti <laughs> artist, that I would write a book about cake decorating one day, I would have been like, I don't think so, man. That's, that's pretty insane. But we actually wrote a book. Actually, with my brother. Where is he? Willie, come here. There's my brother, Willie. <laughs> so I really hope you guys enjoy the book, because it's really, it, it was a labor of love. We put two years of, of a lot of work in this thing. And there's, you know, it really was written by me and my brother, and also Jeff, and Mary Alice, and Anna, and Catherine, and everybody else that works at the bakery. Everybody got their own chapter, so you can really hear everybody's own voice about, you know, who we are and what we do. and, and Hopefully it'll, it'll help kind of answer some questions for you guys, you know, as far as like, you know, who are these weirdos that you see decorating cakes on your TV? Like, like <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, really, that guy? Like, are you sure? Like, that's, that's a little bizarre. So, you know, hopefully it'll answer some of those questions and really just, it's, it's an invite to, to come on in and, and really hang out with us because, you know, it's a, it's a little shop and we are close to the public and I get yelled at for that a lot, so. This is, our, this is us being open to the public. And speaking of open, how about being open to questions? You guys have any questions? Give me some good questions. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, what do you got? You're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And you're That's, always smiling. Is that a question? <laughs> no, I'll, I'll get to it. Um, I was wondering, do you ever get angry? Uh, yes. yes. Yes, I actually, I actually, I do get angry. We, um, uh, we, here's the thing: is every reality show in the universe has people getting angry on it, and so when I get angry, that's when the, we we turn off our microphones, the cameras go away, and then I I am angry, and then when I'm not when I'm done being angry, they turn the cameras back on, so it, it, it totally works out well. All right, go ahead. Why don't you like cupcakes? Why don't I like cupcakes? <laughs> yeah, you know, you, do you like cupcakes? Sorta. Sorta. Well, here's the thing. It's not that I don't like cupcakes. I don't like making cupcakes. I'll eat a cupcake. I had a cupcake this morning. It was delicious. <laughs> but I don't like making cupcakes because the way I make cakes, when people want me to make a cupcake, it's like probably like $100 a cupcake, right? I wouldn't spend $100 on a cupcake. I don't care what you do to it. I think better levitate and spit out sunshine. You know, that thing must be insane, right? So I just don't like making cupcakes because the way that I make them, they're so expensive, nobody's going to want to buy them. So that's why I'm always hitting them with hockey sticks and making fun of people that make cupcakes. Also, most of the people that do own cupcake shops, they're kind of loopy. <laughs> Not like cake decorators or, you know, any different, but, you know, I'm just saying. Uh, lilac. <laughs> all right, on all your shows, you're always wearing a hockey jersey. Right. Okay, today, right now, is the Hall of Fame. You got to name your favorite hockey player of all time. All time. My favorite hockey player of all time. Mm. <laughs> I got to say, it's, it's probably a toss up between. Um, I gotta say, it's a oh my favorite hockey. Oh man, I stump me, man. I, I honestly, I gotta say Richter. Mike Richter. Oh come on, the guy was amazing. I, I it was. I'd say it's a toss between Richter and Pat Wah. All right, Pat Wah. Those are. What is with you guys? Come on. It's because it wasn't a wing. Um, so I know you like hired all your friends and yeah. I know that if I did and I was working with them every day We would get in a bunch of fights. So do you guys like ever get in fights? <laughs> we're not really. Uh, we don't we don't we don't get in too many fights like it, we're a very democratic shop we're, Well, I'd say democratic is <laughs> Right where if I mean I, I'm the owner and I am responsible. So if we get sued uh, I, it's me getting sued, but it's it's 
it's not a it's not a democracy. It's more like a it's more like a co-op beneficent dictatorship. <laughs> I mean, it's my place, right? So I mean, I mean, so basically, what I do is I really encourage everyone to think and and make their own decisions. And I'm not looking over people's shoulders. I'm not you know trying to like tell people how to do their job. I mean, I have you've seen those guys on the show. I mean, they're they are incredible. Like my staff is the best staff, the most amazing artists in the universe. These guys are insane. And I can't tell Katie Rose how to paint a picture. I can't tell Jeff how to make a building. You know, I mean there's like there, there's things I can't like I'm not going to be able to tell these guys. I'm going to make sure that they're whatever they're making is is what the customer wants. But basically, I'm just the coach. I'm not the guy throwing the football. I'm the guy just making sure he's throwing it to the right person. That's it, you know what I mean? Does that make sense? Okay, cool. Uh, when's that? The timeline. You said you came out of pastry school. You want to do cakes your way. Did Food Network come to you, or did you kind of go to them? How did that all start? How did uh, the how did the, the this is this is a funny start? story. You sure you want to hear this? this is yes. <laughs> yeah. Would I have asked the question? Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, here's here's what happened. Um, you guys know who Colette Peters is? Yeah. She's a cake decorator. Yeah. She's amazing, right? She's absolutely. She's the astoundingly incredible so I stole all these awesome pictures that she had of cakes and put them on my website right <laughs> they told me to do that in school they said if you want to start a cake business where you steal a bunch of pictures and then you then you make them and then you replace those pictures with your version of whatever that cake was I was like okay cool this is before I knew what intellectual property was <laughs> which I don't have any of by the way, so, uh, so, uh, so I put all these pictures on my website, and then I, well, I was sitting there, I was decorating cakes one day, and I, I get a phone call on my, on my cell phone, and uh, I see that it's a, it's a New York number, it says Colette Peters, I'm like, uh-oh. <laughs> it's like, oh man, and I had never talked to her, met her, nothing, I was like, oh man, she's going to kill me, right, so, it's, and have you ever heard Colette Peters speak? She's got this, like, thick, like, Minnesota accent, but, like, with, like, the, like, aggro New York behind it. So she's like, is Duff Goldman there, please? You know, I was just like, I was like, oh, yeah, this is him. And she's like, do you want to do a cake decorating competition in Beaver Creek, Colorado? And this, I was living in Baltimore at the time. I was like, yeah, totally, because I could go back and hang out with my friends. I was like, yeah, that'd be awesome. And she's like, okay, I'll email you all the details. I was like, wow, this would be great. I was like, listen, I, um, you know, just so you know, I'm a, I'm a really big fan. She's like, yeah, I can tell by your website. <laughs> Took all those pictures down real fast, man. So anyway, so I go out there and I compete. Now, this wasn't for the Food Network. This was for Bon Appetit. And it wasn't televised. It was, it was in front of a, a big auditorium. And um, so I'm sitting there and I'm doing it. And, and uh, you know, all these like, pastry chefs show up. And the theme was nature. Okay? Now, if, if you're going to make a cake, or if you're going to tell a pastry chef, hey, pastry chef, make me a cake. And the theme is nature. What are you going to get? You're going to get the seasons or flowers, you know, whatever, right? So you're going to you know, get something like that. So I was like, well, let me, I'm going to do something different. So I, br I brought a bunch of rolled steel. It was like a mill finish rolled steel, and I brought an arc welder with me, right? <laughs> and so I made these, these cakes that look like peaches, and I made this, like, this crazy postmodern looking peach tree, and I'm sitting there welding on stage, and I was like, uh, nobody look at the really bright light. You know, and I'm sitting there like arguing, and so I'm doing this thing, and I like lit the table on fire, and like, you know, I mean, it was just, it was, it was, it was a total disaster. But I made the best cake, like hands down. Had these cakes like peaches, these giant stainless steel screw eyes were stuck through the middle of them, and they were all tied up with fishing lines that were hanging from the branches, right? Everybody else, like the guy who came in first, uh, he did um, these, these like a, a pretty traditional cake with some pulled sugar flowers. And like he did a little stencil of powdered sugar on one of the cakes, and I'm like, yeah, 1970 called. They want their cake back. They were like seriously. <laughs> and uh, the guy who came in second, he did spring, summer, autumn, winter. I, you know, could have called that one. So anyway, so Colette comes up to me afterwards, and she's like, look, you made the best cake in here. You know that, but you broke every single rule we had, including the fire code for crying out loud. And I was just like. I'm sorry, you know, what do you want from me? And so, uh, so she, she calls up Food Network, and she's like, listen, all right, here she came in first, right? And she was, she was scouting for talent. She was scouting for people to be on the Food Network challenges. 
And she's like, okay, this is a guy who came in first, you know, really technically awesome cake. Here's a guy who came in second, you know, da, da, da. Here's a guy who came, you know, third, da, da. Now, there's this other guy. He's insane. <laughs> he's like 23. And he's, he's the only one that didn't bring an assistant, and he almost lit the place on fire, and he was telling jokes the whole time. So they, I did challenge after challenge after challenge, and I slowly started to realize that, like, you know, they kept having me back because we were basically um, comedic relief because everybody else was so uptight and crazy. And, so, and we were just, like, goofing off the whole time. Like, did you see the one where our boat fell over? Yeah. All right, remember that one? Did you, did you hear me laugh? As the, as the thing is falling apart, I'm like cackling. I thought it was a funny thing. I'm like, wow, we just look like jackasses on, in front of millions of people. That's awesome, right? And so I'm sitting there laughing the whole time. And they're just like, Duff is crazy. What is wrong? Like everyone else, like the guy who came in second, he like freaked out. He was like pushed his table over and like threw a pot because he thought he should have won. He was all mad. He was, he was mad at Colette for winning. And I'm like, how are you going to be mad at Colette Peters? Like, we all owe Colette, like, so much. I was just like, whatever, dude, you're crazy. I was like, so I, like, walked out with the little fish, you know. They, they were just like, and my mom was in the audience, and she was crying, right? And she's, she's like, sitting there, she's bawling, right? Were you, there? Willie, were you there? No. You weren't there? All right, so, so my mom's in the audience, and uh, she's crying, and I, I, I walk out there. I didn't realize there was a camera right behind me. Right, the whole time. So I walk up to her, I'm like, Mom, it's okay, it's okay. And she's like, but you're saying it's not taking me. I was like, Mom, don't worry about it. Watch, they're probably gonna give me my own show after this. Like, I'm just trying to calm her down, like, <laughs> totally kidding. And <laughs> look at that. <laughs>